right, so in here I have one cup of beef broth to which I'm going to add, um, how much did I do? Three tablespoons of red wine vinegar. Need a paper towel. It's gonna be a mess. Ah, okay. Um, this is dried oregano. I prefer the Dominican one. I haven't found it here in Georgia yet, so if you're in Georgia and you know where to get it, let me know, please. This is just regular oregano, dried. And this is one tablespoon. In here, I have two tablespoons of olive oil. And one tablespoon of minced garlic. If you do not like garlic, I, I keep saying that in my videos because I heard someone say they don't like garlic in one of my videos. Because I did the garlic parmesan wings. And they were like, oh no, I don't like garlic. Well, if you don't like it, don't use it for my recipe. That's what it calls for, but you're more than welcome to adjust it. Adjust it to what you like. So if you like something different, go for it. So basically, I'm going to whisk this away just to get it well incorporated. And I'm going to pour it over my meat that we're going to be uh, making. But before I do that, I'm going to season my meat with salt and pepper to my taste. And I'll mix it a little bit better in a moment. So I'm gonna put my gloves on. <clears throat> For this part. So now we have, I don't know, I feel like this is so close. Anyways, in here is two pounds, should not have touched that, two pounds of ground beef. This is pink Himalayan salt, that's what I use, and this is cracked black pepper. So what I'm gonna do is break it apart. I did have it frozen and then oops, defrosted it. All right. So again, this is to your taste. When you're on a ketogenic diet, you tend to um, need more salt in your diet, and that is because of all the electrolytes that your body is flushing out. So what you wanna do is replace it with sodium, potassium, magnesium. The best way for your potassium is not bananas, guys. It is avocados. So remember that. Actually, avocados have the most potassium, but there's also spinach um, and other things. Um, you can do supplements. I do supplements as well. So let me go with a little bit more before I... Go ahead and start with the the wet rub, as I call it. All right. One more time. Just a little bit. All right. So what I'm gonna do is. Take our rub. Let me get this napkin again. Okay. I like to poke holes just to make it a little bit easier. Get that in there. And these big chunks of garlic. Sorry about that. When I did my garlic, I guess I didn't um, check it. I do have a video on how I do my garlic. Um, 
Now you see how watery it is? That's okay guys, because what's gonna happen is you want that juice to put it over. When I make this, I like to eat it with a salad, okay? And this, when I'm, we're gonna make them into patties. And what I do is I eat my salad with this and the little juice that's in there, we call it caldito. The caldito in Spanish, we pour it over the um, salad itself and it's like, Am I saying it ends up? It's like a vinegary uh, dressing, like a vinaigrette. So I also have onions here that we're gonna place once we put them on our our baking dish here. See that? All right. Um, listen, I'm recording, so I'll talk to you in a moment. I'm almost done. All right, honey. All right. So you're just gonna take a handful and you do this nice and neatly and it will stay guys no worries it will stay together so we're gonna plop it in there another handful I'll show you what that looks like in a moment these shrink so I tend to put a little bit more of meat so a handful is usually good and I have little hands so it's like you're making burgers I know it sounds so gross right some people like those sounds I don't know what do you think about those videos those videos that people say that are so soothing my son is one of them Christian <laughs> you hear him <laughs> So soothing. All right. This is also a great recipe to do um, meatballs with, but somebody in this house can't stand meatballs. I won't say who. Mr. Christian. Probably. All right. I'm organizing them, guys. Give me a moment. Making them spread out more. I might have to do it in another dish. Give me a second. Alright, so I had to get another dish, which is fine. Just hang on, buddy. He just came home from school and is starving, so I gotta hurry up. Anybody has kids out there, a lot of you I'm sure have them, and you know what I'm talking about. The after school hunger. It is a real thing, people. It is a real thing. All right, let me take these gloves off and off. Let me take these gloves off and I will show you what it looks like. There we go. So out of what I did, just using handfuls, I made eight, eight patties. Okay, so there's four. Oh, more than that, three, six, seven, eight, nine, I made 10, holy schmiggles schmuggles. There's four there, and there is six here. So now what I do is I go ahead and I take our onions and we're just gonna put them on there. I'm getting looks from somebody in the peanut gallery over here. And this is going to be awesome with the sauce that comes out. So we're going into the oven for at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 40 minutes. I'm going to check on that. Um, I want to say 40 to 45 minutes, guys. It depends on, on how you like the meat. So start with 20 minutes, work your way up. So 20 to 40 minutes, depending on your stove and how you like your meats. Okay guys, so I'm off to the oven. I'll see you soon. Bye.